So I'm going to demonstrate how we can use an update stick, a USB stick, to update the software on the V10 controller. I have here a USB stick that is factory made. You can find it uh, in the kits for the SIM and SIM Plus ignition modules, or you can get it from IVC. Uh, you can also make it yourself with any high quality USB stick. Go to ivcboiler.com, technical information portal, software update, and it'll give you directions according to whether you're using a PC or Mac to make your own update. The first thing we're going to do is see whether there's any need to do a software update. I know the version I have on my stick. It happens to be the current 1.10.2.1. And I'm gonna compare it with what the boiler is actually running. I'm using a pencil to navigate because it's easier than using a finger. The diagnostics page gives us boiler information. Under boiler information, we see the software release. Here it's 1.10.2. Earlier than the current version, so there is an opportunity to update. We're gonna remove the cover. Running a software update, we always recommend to remove the calls for heat. There's a number of ways to do that, and I'm gonna show you how to do it by removing the control wiring terminal blocks. These terminal blocks here, these 22 terminals, are the control wires. The, the upper 10 are the therm connections. You may also have control wiring on the lower 12, for example, a DHW sensor. Pull these terminal blocks straight out and the boiler will not see a call for heat. It's not necessary or recommended to touch the line voltage pump terminals above it. And place the USB stick in the slot on the left hand side of the controller. There's also a slot below it for an SD card and everything we're describing with the USB stick applies to the SD card as well, if that's your format. Now we're going to go back from our boiler information page to diagnostics, then go into advanced diagnostics. From advanced diagnostics, we will run the software update. The software update page tells you to insert the USB device in the side, and then you're gonna press USB. The controller has located four new updates, prompting us whether we wanna proceed. We're gonna say yes and okay. First of all, it's going to take the information from the USB, it's going to verify it, and then it's going to apply it. This whole process might take three to five minutes. At some point, this bar is going to go red at the bottom, and the whole screen is going to go black as part of the restart process. So you see the, the controller will tell you, the boiler will need to restart as part of the update process. Update completed, restart in the boiler. The screen will go black, and in about two minutes, the control system will be rebooted and it will be back in standby. The boiler won't try to fire, of course, because we've removed the calls for heat. Upon re restarting, there's no need to worry about the interlock open error. That's just a side effect of having removed the, the terminal strips. So we, here we are back at the, at the main menu. Let's just take a quick look through the main menu, diagnostics, and boiler information to confirm that our software update is, has been successful and it has. We have here software release 1.10.2.1. .1. 
on the software release, going into diagnostics and advanced diagnostics, we have an opportunity to recalibrate the, the, the fan. We're gonna do a restart the boiler and it's gonna ask us whether we want to run the fan pressure calibration. And we're gonna, and we're gonna say, yes, we want to do that. After a short while to, uh, for post purging of the, of the fan and pumps, the screen will go black and we'll restart the boiler. 